Well, greetings, people of the internet. Unky Joe here. Unky Joe's Playhouse. Well, I've managed to go from grow what to no what. Now, a special shout out goes out to Bob, uh, who is our moderator on our chat on our live stream on Saturday. You know who you are, Bob. You gave me the idea for that title for this video. And it's true. We did go from grow what to know what. Just in the, if I could snap my fingers, it would be that quick. I blinked. I started a cup of coffee on a coffee maker and it overloaded and shut off and didn't want to work anymore. And uh, I reset it. I put it through its paces. Could not get it to work. I finally, in frustration, took it off the wall, and, and I put it over on the bench. Let's go over there and look at it. All right, here we go. So, in my endeavor to, uh, look, come here and look. This is sad. This is so sad. I've had to rip apart my entire, my entire board. I was having to do that anyway. You know, plans, things change. That's why I've left everything here. This is like a work in progress, right? And if I moved this into the server room, I would be really limited on space moving around and electric access to electrical power, etc. So it's it's all right here. But what's not here is that frickin' grow watt. And Sasha Lopez donated the, this to us well over a year ago. In fact, it's been a year to the date. August is when he purchased this and. There were two or three iterations that were shipped to us because mistakes were made. This one is not working. Uh, it just quit working after, right in the middle of a power outage, I plugged the coffee maker into it and the surge took it offline. And uh, it would boot back up, it would power up, it would charge the battery, it would see the solar panels and charge the battery from the solar panels and from AC but it wouldn't pass through AC. So it was worthless as an inverter. It worked great as a solar charge controller and a charge. it would charge off the grid and solar. So I limited along and I hooked up another inverter that I have and uh, f tried flipping this back on and off, tried to factory reset on it. I've tried everything I could think of, even opened the cover. Sorry, Grow One, hope I didn't void the warranty. But I even opened the cover to see if there was any components burned. I didn't see anything. Um, so I've got to call in to grow up because this thing is supposed to have a two-year warranty. So this is where we're at. They wanted me to set the unit back up with a battery, with AC power, just how I had it set up over there. And so I'm waiting on a 24-volt battery that's supposed to be here today. So meanwhile, I've created a couple of number six... Uh, gauge uh, battery cables. I think these are six in American units. Yeah, I mean, there's not going to be more than about. Uh, no, these are number fours, even better. So, number four welding wire will hold up to uh, like 120 amps, 115 amps. So, these are for the battery. And then they're screwed in here on the grill watt. Mind you, this thing is not powered on right now. And then over here is the AC in, and I've wired that to a, a power cord, as you can see right here. Right? So that's wired in there, and then this on the bottom, this cord here, is wired into the AC out. And you see it's real hard to see down there, but if you look, you'll see these wires down here going in for the AC out. And instead of dealing with a whole bunch of hocus pocus, Parky malarkey. I just <laughs> I like to wire these into power strips. It just uh, it makes my life a whole lot easier. So yeah, it's just wired into a power strip, so I can test it. And then of course I've got uh, the uh, Raspberry Pi and it's running solar uh, solar assistant, so that we can I don't know go in and look at log files. I don't know if that'll help. So. I'm just waiting on the battery now that I'm going to put the battery in. I'm going to boot it up and then I'm going to get back on tech support with GrowWatt and see what they say. Uh, they've been pretty, pretty responsive so far. It sounds like they're going to, I told them somebody, a third party bought this for me 
and I'm able to prove that with a receipt. Um, they didn't mention anything about it, so I guess they're okay. And uh, we'll move in forward. We'll see how they do and if they honor the warranty. If it if it indeed even needs to be warranted, it could be something as simple as uh, it needs a firmware update. And I finally caught up to it and borked it, and that might fix it. So we'll see. Wish me luck. So rather than wait around for a battery to come in, uh, I decided to hook up my power supply, my bench power supply, I just wired it in. And um, so right now, it is, the unit is powered off. It's red and it's blinking. Right now I've got my probes set over here. He said probes. To the power strip. And, you know, it's not even hardly registering. Let me zero it out. It's hardly even registering any voltage on there at all. Right now, the uh, this is uh, what I'm getting on the display. Okay, 121 volts coming in, zero volts going out. My little indicator flashing about the solar cells not being connected. What it would not do is when I would flip this switch, there would still be no power coming out of here. Let's see what happens now. Let's watch the meter. Flip the switch. Okay, it's telling you it's about to power on. You'll hear the relay click. Okay, we're on AC, and there we go. We had AC. Turn it off. No power. Display. Is it showing a fault? Can't see. Now it's showing charge. It's showing AC. I can't tell. Alexa, bench light off. Okay. So that's the only green light that's actually on. So let's try this again. Beep. Wait for the relay to click. And I'll be damned it's putting out power. And you see the AC light is on. You see the charge light is on. Well, yeah, the charge light, no fault other than the solar cells aren't hooked up and we got voltage we're getting it just, I took it off the wall plugged it all back in and now it's working a day later and this is what a friend of mine had recommended and, and frankly I would recommend it too that you turn something off for a full 24 hours and let it reset that's evidently what it's done here. That's good because it means I haven't damaged any components. But it, but it means there's a flaw in this software that I need to get fixed because I cannot depend on this thing to not crap out on me when it was when a 1500 watt load was put on a 3000 watt inverter with only four or five hundred watts on it at the time. So it should have handled that load just fine. It didn't. So I've lost faith in it. So try this again. Just with you as my witness. Turn the inverter off. Now even though the inverter is off, it will charge the batteries from solar and from the grid as long as there's grid and solar power. Alright, let's turn it back on. Wait for the relay to click. And 120 volts again. Unbelievable. That's good though. That means I'm not going to have to ship this son of a bitch back. It means I should be able to do a firmware update on this and hopefully that'll fix the problem. I'm actually quite happy about this so there you go. So we'll see how well this camera does in low light. It's a nighttime shot but I had to share this with you. So this is my Victron. Well this is my battery bank currently at 26.35 volts. It charged up by 2 o'clock this afternoon fully with solar on a Victron uh, solar charge controller and four 400 watt panels. And I'm currently drawing 22 amps out of it, 23 amps. And right now that's powering everything you see here. Yeah, I'm editing a video. Yeah, everything you see here. And it's powering this. DC, AC to DC charger and I'm charging the new Redodo 25 volt or 24 volt 
100 amp hour battery I got in because I need to do some more testing with this grow watt. Um, this is the grow watt that failed on me and we're trying to get to the bottom of what caused it to fail but I just thought this was cool. I'm using this battery bank to charge wait for it this battery isn't that wild and look yeah I know there's a big hole there but the inverter this is the uh, this is the uh, oh Zia Chia Gia gonna come and see ya inverter you know the Chinese names I, I just can't keep up the O's what, what the hell does that say Anzui power Okay, the ons we power. Alrighty, I'm happy. It's a 3,000 watt pure sine wave. And it's not a cheap inverter. This inverter was 300 bucks. This thing is not cheap, but it's currently hooked up. I've got a uh, transfer switch set up so that if uh, the battery voltage drops below like 24.6, I think, it switches back over to grid so that none of my sh stuff shuts off. But yeah, I'm charging... And there's the cord going to the power strip that is being powered by this inverter and it is charging that Redoto 25 volt or 24 volt battery and then this Redoto battery will be then hooked up to the grow watt here so I can run some more folks uh, run some more folks so I can run some more tests for the folks at grow watt that are they've been great so far they're trying to help me through the problem and uh I want I don't want to send it back either if we can fix this with a firmware update which is I think which is what its problem is I think this is all firmware related I think they got buggy firmware I tried to update firmware on this months ago when I first got it a year ago and I couldn't get it to update in fact I dedicated an entire laptop right here that laptop to updating and I failed. So this time, I'm going to get the folks at GrowWatt to help me with this. Or they're going to get it back and give me another one. Oh, and the inverter, the fans just kicked in on the inverter. And uh, yeah, my wall's a mess, but I just wanted to share this with you as part of this ongoing process. Well, <laughs> aren't I glad I had that extra equipment laying around? Because I was offline. I couldn't use the, the power and the batteries. So... After some quick thinking and a little bit of soul searching, uh, I was able to figure out how to hook up that transfer switch, get it working, which I needed to do anyway because it had not been fully tested, nor had the 24 volt 3000 watt uh, inverter. And I ran that thing for a week on this grow watt setup after pulling it off the wall just to you know make sure it was working right. The big complaint I have about that inverter is the damn fan comes on every 10 or 15 minutes, runs for five minutes, it just drives me out of my mind. I can't stand fan noise. Now, normally this wouldn't be in somebody's studio or home. It would be out in the shed, in the solar shed where it belongs, um, and uh, you know, your or your power shed or, a, or an equipment closet, and that's nobody would hear it. But um, I hear it. It's really bugging me. But anyway, uh, so, and that's another benefit of having uh, components of the system to where in a pinch you could go over in an emergency to a backup system. So with all this being said and all this being done, I still don't trust the grow watt. It's going to be relegated right now, if anything, to running the pool pump uh, or to running the pool going into the fall and then for next spring and summer because I, I don't want to rely on it i've got an alternative i've got i've got something up my somebody took my sleeve that i had something up but no i have plans dare i say crazy crazy plans to to uh mitigate this and they'll be in the next video so you got that to look forward to but anyway we hope you found this video entertaining and informative nonetheless please give us a thumbs up down below if you liked the video, smash that like button repeatedly. Well, no, because that'll just turn it off. Just hit it one time. Uh, subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. And click that notification bell to be notified of new videos when they come out. And please send us some money. 
All this stuff is getting expensive, and I need your money. There, you just want me to be honest? PayPal, Patreon, YouTube join function, or become a YouTube premium member. Every penny you donate goes into, you know, getting stuff. I don't have very many sponsors other than you lovely people. And we'll see all of you on the other side.